partly in uh, collaboration with us that Boylston Township uh, got this grant to do this project today. It's uh, through a program called Tree Vitalized Watersheds, and it's specifically geared at planting along streams and rivers as well as stormwater basins. Um, and really the goal today uh, is to get all these native plants in to help provide some really nice wildlife habitat as well as help dig out some of uh, the basin and uh, also help filter a lot of nutrients that are running into it, as well as uh, save the water so that it's not cooler when it eventually goes into the Deceptively simple. <laughs> Um, it's actually, you know, there's a lot to it um, that you need to consider. One of which is making sure you're planting at the right depth. So, this tree, in order to kind of have a prosperous life, needs to be planted like right at the base of its roots. And sometimes the nurseries kind of cover that up, so you get to dig down and kind of find out where that trunk kind of flares out to the roots. So it looks like it's a couple inches down. And then you want to make sure that you're planting that level right at the edge of the ground level. So right at the top here, it's gonna be you want to make sure these two areas are flush when you're all said and done. And it's gonna be a little tricky today because we're planning on a slope, so yes. um, something we really need to be mindful of. It's better to be a little high the plant than too deep. Once it's planted too deep, it's too deep forever. You can't raise it back up. So we want to try to get them at the right weight, um, especially on a slope. So, and then you guys pretty much in sneakers today. So um, we want to kind of firm in the soil. So um, it's going to be a little rough there. So you do the best you can. Yeah. <laughs> with the uh, with the sneakers on. And then I'm mixing a little compost. This is from uh, Delval College. Some leaf mold and stuff. So. To, it, so sorry. the, the uh, flare is going to be even with the upper part of the slope? Yeah, you want to actually kind of even sort of tilt your landing, I think, a little well, bit. Well, on know. the slope, you want the top of the root ball to be even with the top of the, of the slope. So, and then the, the front will build up. What that'll do over time, if you let the roots continue to grow that way, if you don't do anything to it at all, it's going to basically strangle this tree. Um, so you really want to take your time to break it up and kind of spread those roots out so they have a chance to spread out once they get into this hole. Yeah, some of them are going to have more roots than others. This one doesn't have a lot of roots, so this is pretty easy. We're actually pretty flat here. Once you get onto the real steeper parts, um, it's going to be yeah a little yeah. bit more. See, that's too Challenging. deep. That's too deep. Yeah, we need to backfill a little bit. These are the hardest, these tall ones, so I'm really holding on to it. The other ones will be easier. At least uh, this is going to fall apart. Of course, we're throwing the juice. Another thing that's really important is this isn't a problem for this particular, and it may not be for many of them, but making sure that the diameter of your hole is about twice as wide as the, the, tr the fruit ball itself, so that those roots have a nice soft soil to work their way into. It's not like they're hitting a cement wall right off the bat because um, some of this ground is pretty hard around it. Stuff. 
it's not going to stay like this. This is just temporary for us to keep moving along here. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I wish I had like a, one of those cooking shows where you're like, see, it's already done. <laughs> so it does take a while to do it right. Okay. And um, everybody has a tendency to kind of try to mound soil up right around the base of that trunk. And that's about the worst thing that you can do for this tree. It actually really promotes rot around that area. So you want to make sure that you know, you're not really trying to like mound that area up. Like you see a bunch of like multi volcanoes in developments and that kind of thing. You really don't want to do that. That's uh, sort of an old practice. Um, from a maintenance point of view, because you know we had all this rain, but before that, for the last two months, very dry out here, right? You can see the rocks. So on the slope, or any extra soil, because next year if we have a drought, we're going to have to come out and water these. So we want to take any extra soil and on the downhill side, so we can come along and do it quickly. Um, we're going to make a little bit of a ring, nothing on top of the root ball. Just so the water, we can, it'll kind of hold the water. I'm thinking ahead for next year. If, if things are pretty bad next year, it'll be a lot easier. I'm not worried about the uphill side because the water's always going to find its level when we're watering, okay? <laughs> 